So I've got um, 40 grams of porridge oats with almond milk um, um, in porridge, and I've got 15. What have I got? 15 grams of sultanas, which is just about two and a half sins. So there's two and a half sins in there, and one of my half extras. And I'm gonna have some watermelon. I've got some. I've got loads of cardboard melon. I need to finish up. So I'm gonna have that. Um, and I've also got some uh, banana in my porridge. See you in a bit when I next eat something. I've had curry for lunch, curry and rice for lunch. I've had two hot um, drinks with um, that's decaffeinated coffee with almond milk. And I'm now having a quick banana snack. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. See you in a bit. Hi, oh, yeah. Um, so I'm just back. I'm just going to have a nectarine. Um, so I'm not done too bad. And make sure I put a hot drink on. I did pick up a packet of crisps that I was going to eat, but I decided not to. Not not just because I can't. So I, I know I can have crisps on Slimming World, but they are a um. They are a way that I used to eat to kind of comfort eat and I'm not really I've got other ways to comfort eat you know I like nectarines they're enjoyable things so it's not I don't think I need to and I felt like if I ate them then it might lead to other things so I just made the choice to um I just basically just give them to my partner and he can have them there um if he wants to have them but yeah it's always tricky to know what to do in those situations um I do feel a bit worried whether I'm end up like depriving myself unnecessarily because um, I could have the crisps, but there's an element, isn't there, as to um, what we know about ourselves and how we choose to act. Now, um, I don't know. I mean, I might, I might end up eating crisps again at a later stage, but um, I think the thing is, is there is there is more tastier food than crisps and I know they don't have sugar in there's a bit of me just going well you can have crisps can't you because they've got no sugar in but I don't know there's, the, there's, there's an element that I know I can do better than that I know that they're not going to provide me much nourishment um, so I know I can do better and I suppose there's a bit of me feels that um, the more I do to look after myself the better my life will be um and that will transcend you know transcend any any feelings of deprivation that might occur you know I'll feel better and I'll feel more confident in myself um so I won't need to comfort eat as much anyway so those cycles round so the idea is next I'm going to put some chips on i've got um i'm hoping i've got a fair selection of potatoes i've got quite a lot of potatoes there, yeah, so. we're going to do is do some chips out of those potatoes i tend to put a batch on a double batch with two chopping you know, what are they called baking trays i put a double batch in and then once that's um Once that's done, all I need to do really is hummus, make some hummus and uh, the chilli's there so it just needs reheating. Um, so should be should be pretty good. Um, I intend to have a little bit, as the first batch of chips comes out, I'll put some in a bowl and bet some salt and vinegar and just kind of have a little bowl of chips while I wait for everything else to do. But I'll have my finish my nectarine first and then I'll get going on to that. So I will catch you. Next time I eat something, I think so far, I've had two and a half sins in my sultanas. I've had one healthy extra. Uh, there's nothing in my curry and rice that was healthy extra or sins. So, and I've had a couple of bananas. So I think I'm kind of, yeah, I've got, I've, yeah, so far I've used two and a half sins and one healthy extra B. And obviously my healthy extra A in my almond milk. So I will see you next time I eat something, which will probably be a little bowl of chips. See you in a bit. Hi, yeah. So I've just been having a few of these chips. So I don't know how much exactly I've had. Probably a sort of about a 
a handful. There's leftovers there for my partner to have with his chilli when he gets back. I'm going to now do another batch um, to have with our lunches for tomorrow and probably a few with my own chilli when I eat some a bit later. Friday night we tend to stay up a little bit later just because we don't have to get to school in the morning so I let the kids kind of, you know, just have a chill out and we do everything a little bit slower than we would do normally. So I'll have a little bit of something to eat properly in a bit. But I have like a little glass bowl. I've eaten them all. I just ate them all straight away. So a little glass bowl that I just put a few in. Just as a little um, little warm snack as I um, carry on tackling the washing up and, you know, getting the hummus made and all that sort of business. So I will catch you again when I sit down and have a bit of something a bit more proper. See you in a bit. Bye. Yeah, I'm a little bit sleepy, so I'm going to have... Uh, yeah, I'm getting a bit tired now, so I'm just going to have a pint of water um, just to give me a little power up. Hi, yeah, so I'm just, uh, just doing a bit of washing up. Um, just you know, having a quick pot around, getting a few bits done, the kiddies are watching telly, so I haven't eaten any kind of dinner yet, I've just been snacking on nectarines, a few grapes, um, you know a bit of watermelon, I made some hummus, so I had a bit of hummus, I haven't really sat down and eaten anything proper yet, um, but it's, to be honest with you it's quite nice just to have a bit of like out of routine it's a bit more chilled out, it's not having to, I don't have to be doing everything done by a certain point. So I think this happened last week actually. I ended up having um just, you know, snacking on free food, you know, have some chips, have a few bits like that. So I'm gonna make the kiddies some um cheese and grapes, like a little cheese and grape bowl for them to have as a snack. And I don't think they'll be too far off getting to bed really, because it's getting quite late. Um they're getting pretty tired, so I think once they're going up to bed, I'm just going to basically put around just keep tidying up, getting a few bits sorted out, put a washing load on, all that sort of stuff. Um, at that point I might feel like I want something to eat, but I think I'm okay at the moment. I've just been watching on YouTube a, um, a YouTube video on uh, kind of anorexia, and um, there was a time kind of little bit time ago that I thought maybe anorexia might be a you know, or emulating parts of it might be a good way for me to have a bit of control around food um you know I never really properly went for it as it were um but I certainly remember trying to emulate you know ways of you know trying to sort of research food as disgusting so that I wouldn't want to eat it and all that kind of stuff so um it was interesting kind of revisiting the concept of anorexia uh, kind of this far on you know having done um, Slimming World for a little while and kind of got to grips with my food issues in a kind of more healthier way but um, yeah it's interesting revisiting um, yeah I'm gonna make the kiddies their grape and cheese bowls and carry on doing some washing up so I will see you if I eat anything else this evening and probably have a sit down with a bit of a hot meal a bit later once the kiddies gone to bed. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Hiya. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to have a bit of food now. It's pretty late. I'm pretty tired but I'm hungry so I'm going to have some food. I've just got chilli, some hummus, a few chips, not very many chips. There wasn't quite very many left but I've just got a few. I've got just um, a bit of hummus there to have with it um, and I've also got a little bit of leftover watermelon. My daughter decided to dig in to the far side, I was trying to be getting to slice it up but obviously she wouldn't have a little go so I'm just going to, it sort of gets all mushy at the bottom really but I'm going to finish that as well after. Just going to have a little chill out, I might do a little bit of washing up but I might leave it till the morning, see how I feel once I've eaten this. Might do a 10 minute burst, see what I can get done. But uh, 
Yes, I probably leave it here. I can't imagine eating any more today. I wouldn't have thought. And I will catch you um, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. Um, my daughter's got a little friend over, so we'll see how that all goes. You know, see how it all pans out. All right, okay, and thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks so much for commenting and stuff. It really helps me ever so much to keep on track. Um, keeps me really thinking about what I'm eating and why I'm eating it, so I appreciate that. And I will see you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye. Oh, yeah, so I'm just um, emptying the tumble dryer to put across the last load of the evening. Um, So uh, I just thought I'd have a quick little, um, so I've gone and basically eaten everything I'm going to eat today. Um, I realised that I haven't had very many sins, I've only had two and a half um, with my sultanas this morning I think. Um, I've had one and a half healthy extras I think have I? I had a par some porridge. Um, I thought I'd had one and a half healthy extras, but I haven't. Porridge. Um, got a bit too tired to remember. I try and recap at the end, but <laughs> I sort of remember as I'm going along. Now I'm at the other end of the day, I'm not so sure. I think I've only had one. I think I just had one this morning. And some almond milk today. Um, but I think what I wanted to just briefly chat about was uh, there was a moment when I was coming away from the school, and I'd had a, I was got a packet of crisps for me, for my daughter, and for my son. Like a packet of kind of fake hula hoop type of things. And uh, I was going to, because I thought, well, you know, it's not got any sugar in, it's within my sins. I could, you know, just have a pack of crisps. Um, I made the decision when I got the opportunity to give them to my partner to, to sort of take with him instead, rather than me having them. And it's, I was just having a quick think about why I made that decision and I think the, the thing is is that it's not that I can't eat the crisps I think it's the um connection I have with them and I think just for a little while I'm going to give myself a break from um kind of I don't think the word is trigger foods I think it's um like foods that I associate with that time, you know, uh, sort of like nostalgia foods or like foods that have a memory linked to them. You know how sometimes you eat something and it's like your brain kind of has a process that it goes through that if I have crisps, then I'll want, um, you know, bread and jam, then I'll want this, then I'll want that. And it's like a process your brain just takes you through. And I think I want to, for a little while, kind of give myself a break from being um, swung, swung around by my brain rather than me kind of having a choose about what I want to eat. And I think I'm quite enjoying um, so far this week kind of just thinking, hmm, what do I fancy to eat, you know, rather than... I have to have it, you know, and I'm just going to struggle if I don't. So I think that's why I chose today to not use my, not use sins on those crisps today. Um, I think I would have enjoyed them, but they very well, it might have set off a cascade in my head where it made, it like made me feel like I was supposed to be comfort eating. Whereas in reality, I 
I sort of got back and you know, had my nectarine, you know, had a few, had some chips, had some, you know, I was snacking on fruit. Um, you know, so it wasn't, it's not really, it, it, I, I, I ate my food just as much as I would have enjoyed eating the crisps. And I certainly would have been within my sins. I just, just the connection. I didn't really want to sort of go down that path. So I think that's what I'm going to choose to do. I very well might eat crisps in the future. Very well might eat them. Because I certainly enjoy them. But I think for now, just to give myself a little break and give myself a chance I'm just gonna not gonna eat those types of foods for me kind of like um, I don't know what to call them other than trigger feeds but I don't really feel that like they're trigger feeds the more yeah just um, uh, like emotionally charged foods or something or like um, yeah foods that I, I link um, I, you know, I, I connect with an emotion of some sort with them. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd have a brief chat about that bit because I hadn't really said about that bit of, of my day. Um, these sorts of things kind of bring up, bring up stuff, don't they? So it's always worth having a look at it as it comes up. All right, thanks so much again. For watching i'm definitely too tired to be awake and <laughs> so i'm gonna go and um put the washing across up to here and then go and head up to bed and i will see you tomorrow lots of love guys see you soon bye